prevent people from getting in. You are symptomatic of the lazy, unimaginative management which is driving this country on the rocks. But, uh, is there anything else? No. Thank you, Governor. Oh, by the way, Mr. Bridger, did you, uh, did you happen to recognize the man who so rudely interrupted you? I've never seen him before in my life. I want Charlie Croker, give him a good going on. Get the word out to Kent Freddy. Yes, Mr. Bridger. I don't want him killed. Just give him a good going over. I understand exactly what you mean, Mr. Bridger. Do you, please? That's very imaginative of you. Sir, I've got you the two volumes of the Anglo-American tray, and UK balance of payments 1966 and 67. And, uh, <laughs> I've also dropped you the illustrated hand of the year, sir. For why Keats? For why? There's a picture of the Queen in it, sir. Hmm. That's good of you. Uh, sir. Keats? I often wonder whether one day you're going to top your career by doing a job on their house. You must learn, Keats, that there are more things to life than breaking and entering. Uh, yes, Mr. Bridger. Uh, by the way, while we're on the subject, I noticed that, um, some of that young Marby Me block are not standing for attention while the national anthem is played at the end of the nightly TV. Tell them to do so, otherwise they will incur my displeasure. Yes, Mr. Bridger. All right. Be off with you. Get that word through to Ken Freddy. Sir. Mm -hmm.